Okay guys, and welcome back to the channel. Bennett on Crazy Marcus here once again on another glorious day here in Bennett on. So just behind me if you can see it. Um, no you can't, sorry about that guys. Anyway, behind me is Hotel Joy around. A hotel a bit at the way, more sort of specialised towards the Spanish, but it is still a nice hotel, so yeah, come and join me as I take a walk round, have a look at it and see what else is in the area. Across the road you do have a Domino's pizza scooter suit there. And just gonna head down the hill. <laughs> Usual chaos as well here in Benny Dorm. Never a dull moment. So that is one of the entrances up to Hotel Troya. Mount here is another one. I'm gonna cross over because it looks like that path's quite narrow. But yeah, that is a uh, beautiful Hotel Joy around. We haven't actually stayed there, we've only ever really been there for like when we were doing extra work on the film and TV that where the place uses a sort of meeting point like the HQ sort of place to like leave your bags and stuff while you go to a scene but yeah from what we saw it were a really nice hotel And now we're going down another back street. <laughs> now, not many Benetton YouTubers actually film some of the back streets and some of the streets where locals live. Uh, where maybe you British tourists wouldn't actually go. I mean, I've only ever seen one YouTuber who actually does sort of stray off where tourists want to see film. And that YouTuber is in even from Benidorm. That YouTuber is Welcome to Wildside. And he does actually stray off the beaten track, show people different areas. I mean, over to right there on Calais Islandia, you have like a nursery. I mean, that no one knew that. You even have like a big lawn tracks as well. I mean, it's weird. I always say this, like, don't be afraid to stray from where you like, don't really know. Like, don't be afraid to sort of go places you don't know, like X. Blow some of the back streets. What? Oh, my favourite bakery, Quank Bake Shop, where we've had some too good to go bags. I mean, yeah. Exploring the beaten track where we normally wouldn't film in. Pump, Frank Quank Bakery.
nice little bar over there as well, bar, cafeteria, surprise And you got cafeteria, nice. Tons of sort of nice little bars on there actually, guys. So, yeah, that's what I was saying, not. Don't be afraid to straight away from where you know. Because you never know, you might find like a new bar you've never even heard of. You've never been to before. You go in, decide to try it and find out it's the best bar in Benidorm. <laughs> you never know, guys. That's how we found some of the best bars we go to. Just sort of walking up alleyways, different sort of streets, just exploring Benidorm. You know? That is something I kind of love to do. Just explore Benidorm, show you the different areas. And on about, um, Different? That's certainly different. God. I know my might were on about weird sort of apartment shapes the other day, but I think I've gotten beat on this one, I mean, what on earth? The balconies are sort of like semicircle, but it's just like weirdly built, I mean. I know Benny Dom's full of weird stuff, but uh, how could you live in that block? And on about living in it, there's actually an apartment for sale in it. Wow. <laughs> But I mean, just look at the shape of it, guys. It's just built differently, I mean. Is that the reason that makes it safer in, say, high winds or an earthquake or Or was it just that, like, the architect had been out watching football, like, knew he had to design a new apartment, like, he'd had a few to manage a drink, cos his team won, so why not celebrate? Then the idea popped into his head, like, he got his, like, pencils up, done a basic sketch-up or something, and, um, yeah, that's what he got. <laughs> that is the weirdest apartment I've ever seen in Benidorm. So we're going to take a walk down here now. And hopefully walking down here should sort of bring us out Round by Avenue de Europa, hopefully. So you can just about see Avenue de Europa, what the main mount about. Probably one of the most famous roundabouts in Benidorm, I'd say, is now. A lot of people probably see that roundabout as I come into Benidorm. Tall bus in the distance, going back down Europa, Avenue to the Europa, I mean. So, yeah, the nice fountain into 
made to tie. Now in my next video, I'm gonna show you one of Bunny Dorm's biggest green spaces. Stay tuned. Anyway guys, so that's the end of this video. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Somewhere different. Well, it's always good to film somewhere different. And well, I've not really finished somewhere different. As you can see, the roundabout behind me, which most people actually see when you're coming into Benidorm. I mean, the coaches normally come down the main road, like head off down to Rincon End or Poniente End or somewhere like that. So yeah, got a nice area. Anyway, smash the like, smash the subscribe. And remember, it's another day in the office. It's another day in paradise. See you in the next one, guys.